Spray up here. Spray. Hello, student teachers of of class. My name is Eric. My name is Brian. And today we're going to talk to you about hereditary cholesterol. Cholesterol. Yeah. We all have quite a lot of cholesterol in our blood. And is and there is we all have quite a lot of cholesterol in our body. And it is and it is there for the excellent reason that it is an essential chemical for the efficient running of the human body. Only a small amount of this cholesterol comes directly from the food we eat. Most of it is made some into most of it is made from our own bodies. Nevertheless, it is enough it is not it is not a good thing to have too much of. Unfortunately, some people have very high cholesterol levels. And it is caused from heredity. About 25 people in 10,000 carry this trait. This is a worrying condition that requires constant monitoring and medical attention to correct it. For such people, the battle against cholesterol is never ending because they are prone to heart disease. The rest of us are lucky by comparison, but that is a little comfort to people who may now fear that they too are at risk unless they can reduce the amount of cholesterol in their blood. If you find advice for, for if you find your blood cholesterol level is too high, you are generally you can generally reduce it by following the advice of a trained dietitian, which generally means eating less fat and more fiber and especially soluble fiber. Major crazy coyote, we want him back. We're the wild boys. WrestleMania, us, you. Cholesterol is not a life threatening toxin, but a medium sized molecule that is really a building block for the important parts of your body. And uh, particular is that it's in, a parti in particular, it is an essential component of cell membranes. Cholesterol also stabilizes cell against temperature changes. It is a major part of the membranes uh, of the nervous system. The brain, the spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves. In particular, it is incorporated to the myelin sheath that insulates the nerves from the surrounding tissue. Cholesterol is also the forerunner Cholesterol is also the forerunner of important hormones such as the female sex sex hormone. O Oestradiol and the male sex hormone. Testosterone and a vitamin D. Which we need in order to utilize calcium and form the bone. Nearly all body tissues are capable of cholesterol, but the liver and the intestines make the most. We require cholesterol to produce bile. We need to digest in fast foods. And the name itself, it comes from the, the words of bile solid, Greek. Now that we have covered information about cholesterol, we will now take questions from the audience. Yes, you over there. Who are some people with high hereditary cholesterol? It's funny that you should ask that particular question in question. There are famous people of well-known origins in which that that have cholesterol from Prob they have cholesterol they have cholesterol problems the hereditary sort That's right. being that we're discussing this here here 
examples. Here's a list, and here are pictures of the people who have it. Next, there. What are some ways that you can lower your cholesterol? That is a very good question, and also you are very handsome. Thank you. I believe that you are handsome as well. Uh, I believe that you can, you can lower your cholesterol by taking prescribed medications Lipitor and Vitorin and both of those you can get through your doctor that he can prescribe for you to take to lower it. Thank you for your questions. You want to run your mouth? You want to run your mouth on the wild b One, two, three. Cholesterol causes buildups in the arteries. Other causes of high cholesterol are high blood pressure, stress, smoking, obesity, and dietary cholesterol. Dietary. That, thank you. Dietary. The cement growth.